Hello, today we are going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black series, A New Hope Darth Vader figure. Never had a Darth Vader figure before, really, but I've always liked his design. I've always liked Anakin as a character. And I saw him on sale for about 14 bucks, down from 25 So I decided to snatch him up because he was cheap and easy. And they had several of him at, the, at Walmart. So, starting off with packaging. Oh, um, also... I'm starting to, I'm going to start trying out videos with a little colored light I have that I can change the color and hue of. So if you're wondering what this red light is, it's this little LED light I got. So I'm going to just start trying this out to see if it makes things look better or worse. So starting off with packaging, um, it's a very simple window box. With the Black Series and Star Wars logo there. New Hope, Darth Vader. Warning, Hasbro. A nice promotional image on the side that looks really damn good. And, oh shit. And uh, nothing on this side. And then on the back you have a the same picture of Lord Vader. With a lore explanation there on the back. You can pause it here if you want to read that. But the packaging's good. It has two little pieces of tape on the top that I have removed to hold the uh, top in place, but that's really it. It's incredibly simple and easy. So now getting to Darth Vader himself. Uh, the, the cape and his waistcoat are both actual cloth, and it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel super cheap. And the cloth even wraps around his back, around his shoulders, but it's not in the way of the actual shoulder joint itself. But the cloth is really damn good looking. It's heavy and it holds it, well, I would hold its shape, it's soft material. It's really damn big. That's a huge cape for Dar him. <laughs> massive, massive cape. But I like it. And his waistcoat is much smaller, but it's the same cloth. It looks great. I don't really know how well it's showing up, but, you know, cape is huge. Absolutely humongous. Uh, so, starting at his head, his articulation for his noggin is a simple side-to-side -side rotation. I don't want to risk doing a 360 because it kind of wants to stop there. Like, I'm trying to push it, but it's stopping itself. And a little bit of up and down. Just, an, just enough to make him look more pissed off or something. There is practically nothing at the uh, midsection, aside from a very slight uh, waist rotation. And I don't want to push that any further than I have to, because I don't want to tear the uh, cloth. Because as far as I can tell, the waistcoat is looping up around his back and over his chest. Uh, to his arms, uh, his arms can do a 360, I have already tried and checked, I think. Okay, this one wants to do a 360, but this one does not. Might be because there's some cloth in the way, I'm not sure. But his elbows can bend about that far before they decide to stop. He doesn't have any alternate hands or helmets or anything like that. No extra exposed head. None of that. Just, this is all he has is a lightsaber. Uh, his elbows go about that far. He does not have a glove swivel, as far as I can tell. But he does have a elbow swivel. His wrists are on pegs, and they can rotate and bend back and forth. The lightsaber is pretty good looking. There's not a lot to say about it, but it looks fine. It's a nice deep crimson red. The hilt is pretty well modeled and sculpted. The paint's great. But it looks fine. And interestingly enough, the blade can come out of the hilt. I thought I broke it earlier when I put it in his hand, but no, it just came out of the hilt. It's supposed to do that. But sticking that back in, it's... It looks good. <clears throat> now, 
getting onto his lower section. His legs have a cut thigh swivel. His knees are double jointed and can bend ridiculously far, which looks a little silly for Vader. And his feet, no toe bend, but they do have a uh, ankle that's pretty functional. It can kick back far and forward decently far, and the swivel and rotation, or the rocker, is good. That's actually a pretty functional foot joint, damn. A lot more than I was expecting from Vader. But nah, he's pretty good. I like him. He looks great. His sculpt and paint is fantastic. It looks pretty accurate to the movie suits as far as I can tell. I, I'm i not the biggest Star Wars guy. I like the series, generally speaking, but it's not something I'm a super particularly big fan of. But getting to sculpt and paint now, I reckon. A little late. Not really in the typical format, but fuck it, let's do it. The, the buttons on his armor are pretty damn good looking. I, that light is not doing this any favors, Jesus. But the buttons, the little dials and knobs on his suit look great. Uh, <laughs> there's not really a lot to say because he's a very simple design ultimately. But his mask is good looking. Let me get some light. His mask looks fantastic. The sculpting is quite nice. I think the eyes are red, as far as I can tell, which I think is a detail from the second or third episode. I'm not sure. But he looks visually very good. The soft parts of his uh, cape are great. His boots look good. His thighs and arms look good. Looks like the actual suit, as far as I can tell. But nah, he's pretty damn sick, actually. Like, I wasn't expecting him to like him this much. I, I've always liked Darth Vader. He's always been very interesting to me. <clears throat> but that cape is kind of fucking nutty. I, I, that, that is something I absolutely love. <laughs> His cape is huge. But nah, he's pretty good. This is the, uh, again, this is the Black Series Darth Vader. 25 bucks, generally speaking. Not sure if you can find him for cheaper or more expensive than that, but in retail, he's 25 bucks. I got them for about 14 or 15 on sale, so take that for what you will. Uh, on the back, clearly cape, but, you know, lifting the cape up, it's just more soft goods, like actual cloth on his back, on his butt. Eh, that looks a little ridiculous. <laughs> but nah, he's, he's dope as hell, actually. I really like Darth Vader. I always have. Anyways, I would give this guy maybe an 8 out of 10 for like a, as simple as he is, 8 out of 10. Nothing's really wrong with him at all. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty damn good. I reckon you should check him out if you like Star Wars or just like Darth Vader or like cool suits of armor in general. Anyways, I guess that's it. This is a pretty lazy video, but I'm out. Peace.